If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle putting the wow in transmogs. The first set is very angelic. And it works on an undead, somehow undead angels, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Mental of the Avatar, the Eye, Void Reaver, 72% drop rate to get those old BC tier shoulders. The chest, Buccaneers, Vest, Stockade, various mobs, or just buy it at the auction house. So, two pretty easy peasy, oh god, I'm sorry I'm being cheesy, sets to get. Here's the Blood Elf Lady showing the Fearless Gladiator's Cord. Uh, satin core that would be legion pvp vendor it's going to cost you a few marks of honor to get that really really sharp looking belt moving on we're going to go with the legs master war mages leggings the night hold mythic version spell blade a l'oreal uh seven sixteen percent drop rate on that and we have a night elf dude priest showing off the feet the soul strider boots serpent shrine caverns we used to call it serpentine caverns i just love mispronouncing things moving along the hands hand guards of the avatar from that same tier set of the shoulders serpent shrine cavern leo Thras, the blind 76 percent drop rate another good drop rate the back Fearless Combatants, Fellweave Cloak, Legion PvP Vendor is going to cost you a few marks of honor. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of white cloaks that would probably go a little bit better with this. The Cowl of the Avatar, Serpent Shrine Cavern, once again, uh, from that tier set in BC. Rod of the Broken Temple, the Wandering Isle, as you can see. I've done this set in several different variations. Uh, one of my favorites, by the way. Shoulders, Dreadful Gladiator, Satin Mantle, Mop PvP Vendor, two marks of honor to pick up the shoulders. The chest piece is a vanilla piece, Sorcerer Drape, Eastern Plaguelands, Death Knight, Soul Bearer, and that's about a 42% drop rate, or I do believe you could buy it on the auction house. We have a Lady Drenai who's going to show you the belt, Vindictive Gladiator Satin Cord, Legion PvP Vendor, 12 marks of honor, well, that's probably lower now, I'd say. And moving along, we're going to show you the legs, leggings of the night sky, mop level tailoring. You can check your local tailor or simply purchase it on the auction house. Moving along, we're going to show you a Lady Goblin showing you the feet, Soul Strider Boots, Serpent Shrine Cavern. That's the uh, same exact pair of boots I think I had on the first set, honestly. So, very, very useful boots to pick up. The hands, Dreadful Gladiator Satin Gloves, Mop PvP Vendor. Of course, you could craft these as well. Uh, two marks of honor, so it's very easy to pick up. Looking pretty cool on an undead priest here. Royal Cape, Stranglethorn Veil. It drops off of a rare, or you could buy it on the auction house. Move along the head, there's a few different... Uh, renditions of this headpiece but that's the one i threw out there and this is the default artifact for holy priest on the staff so the question is why am i showing a horde tune with this set considering the primal is a little bit of a different look for the horde well the, the whole purpose give people ideas you don't have to have this set verbatim you could mix and match and maybe strike a chord and give you an idea of what to do or what pieces to pick up and you get your own idea so good ideas have a very very contiguous way of spawning new good ideas so we have a torrent who's also yes i understand a horde tyrannical the horde version is a little bit different Ma pvp vendor cost 29 percent that's a mistake we all make them so please forgive me uh, sticking with the torrent on the feet, which you really can't see, but Outlander's Boots, Hellfire Peninsula, various mobs, kill, kill, kill them all, or check your local auction house to get those boots that you can't see on a torrent. But you can see them here on the dwarf, and this set looks really cool on the dwarf. As you can see, the hands, relinquished gauntlets, macquery, as you can see, it's a vendor piece, and it's got a pretty good chance to proc those hands. The cloak... Gilded Chlor... Uh, I was going to say Corium. No, it's Thorium Cloak. Karazhan, Terrestrian Ilhoof is the boss. 17% drop rate. Lady Janai showing the head flare. Eyed Hood, Black Rock Foundry, Gruel. 9% is the drop rate. Moving along, we're going to show you the weapon, which is Void Core Great Staff. Hellfire Citadel, as you can see, the boss. 13% drop rate on that weapon. This particular set is also very similar to 
the first set, a little bit of a variation. So now you go after these pieces, you have mix and matches of two different sets. The shoulders, as you can see, not the, too difficult to pick up. The chest, Buccaneers vest, same as the first set. The stockade, various mobs, or check your local auction house. It's got a decent drop rate and stockade you could do over and over again, especially if you're Alliance. Got a dude human showing you the belt, antiquated highborn, cinch, the night hold. Uh, some really name I'm not going to try to pronounce, 17% is the drop rate. Moving on, the legs, Master War Mage's leggings, the Night Hold, LFR version, Spellblade, Allorials, uh, L'Oreal, 17% uh, drop rate on that. Got a Nightborn Lady showing you the feet, which is the same feet I use in two other sets here, so definitely worth getting in Serpent Shrine Cavern. The hands, Primal Combatants Gloves of Proudness, uh, Wad PvP Vendor, two marks of honor, but you could go with a lot of different hand pieces there. Shawl of the Blind Absolution, Tomb of Sargeras, Engine of Souls. Moving along, showing an undead, the head or the hood or the helm, whatever you want to call it. Heroic Tomb of Sargeras. And the tabard, which really what brings together this set, as you can see, very, very interesting tabard to pick up. You might have to look it up on Wowhead and the weapon, Dragon Soul LFR. And the last set is kind of a unique looking set as well. Soul Priest, Shoulder Guards, Blackrock Foundry, Operator Thogar, low drop rate on those shoulders, but it looks really, really cool on a priest here with this whole pattern and color set going on. Garments of Temperance, Black Temple, Gertog, Blood Boil, what a name, 15% drop rate on that BC piece. Moving on, the belt, Court of Winsome Sorrows, Winsome Lose Some, High Mall, High Mall, uh, Heroic, as you can see the boss, pretty good drop rate for that belt, and that's a nice looking belt, it can go with a lot of different sets. The feet, uh, Boots of Persuasion, next arm is 25 man, Patchwork, 18% on the drop rate on the boots, which you can kind of see on the dwarf, but you can't see on the Lady Torrin here. Stone Warper wraps, Black Rock Foundry, Cromog is the boss, and kind of a low drop rate on the hands, but uh, you can switch it up if you really want and go with a different piece. The back or the cloak, Hellfire Citadel Mythic, Gorefiend is the guy who drops the Drape of Gluttony. Moving along, come on, let's go. We got, okay, Blood Elf showing you the head, Soul Priesthood, Time Walking Heroic, Time Walking Heroic. As you can see, it's got kind of a fair drop rate to get that hood, and I believe that that time walking is just for Wad. The weapon, Wild Combatants Energy Staff, as you can see, Wad PvP Vendor, five marks of honor to get that staff. Looking pretty sharp. This is Luxley saying, thanks for watching, and whatever it is by you, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, before you make it epic, take a look at these other two Priest Transmog videos, and I don't know, give me a thumbs up. Be great. Have a wonderful day.